it says a lot about you as a human being that you're even asking these questions. Like the fact that you're willing or, or interested in potentially documenting your life for legacy, which is what you're talking about, is, is admirable, it's huge. Um, but you start, you, with like, like everything, you start small. You've got an iPhone, that's it. That's it, iPhone. For, for me, because when I started, I was selling every single day as well, you can use it as an accountability tool. So if you're gonna go out this week and knock on doors, like put out your goal on Monday. Get on there at the end of the day and tell everybody what you did and be honest. Get on there Tuesday, let everybody know what you did and be honest. Share your struggles. Man, today is freaking raining half the day. I'm knocking on doors, I had an umbrella, I got soaked, I had to change three times. You're not gonna believe it. the worst day I've ever had. Next day, you're not gonna believe what happened. I knocked on this door, this lady came, she tried to get me to come inside, it was super weird. Like, like all the stories, like I've, I've, I come from door to door sales, it's the best experience in the world, but there's also incredible stories that come from that. So literally just jumping on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, at the end of the day or when you're taking a break, when you're getting in the car and you're headed to your, your, next, uh, your next spot, just talking about what happened. Uh, just on your iPhone, that, that's it. And, and I love the, the live aspect of doing that because people, you can only fake it for so long when you're live. So people will get to know the real you, they'll get to know um, you and your integrity and your character and they'll get to like you. Uh, and, and you'll find that today, I did a live Q&A today and half the people that got on it today were the people that were getting on it two years ago. Because they know me now, like they, they, we have a relationship. Um, so it just starts small and it'll build, it'll build. You don't need a videographer until you do. But in the beginning, you don't. Uh, I did everything the entire first year with my phone, most of the time while I was driving. Just not safe. Uh, my wife's, who just left, my wife's, my wife, who just left. <laughs> my wife who just left, biggest fear was that she was gonna watch me die on Instagram Live. Like, legitimately. Uh, but you just start small and just build from there. But guys, this, like, I could go on for an hour about this because it's the thing that I am most passionate about. If you have an iPhone or a, a smartphone, hopefully an iPhone, you now, you no longer have an excuse anymore to document and to be creating a brand. And if it's for your business and it's to, to propel your business to the next level, that's great. But doing it just for the legacy, like what he's talking about, like. I don't know if you guys saw this video I did where I took my daughter out on a date like two weeks ago for Valentine's Day, but I took my daughter out on a date, we're sitting at Waffle House, and I looked at her and I said, hey, isn't it crazy we're gonna be watching this at your wedding? And I'm dead serious. Like, we'll watch that video at her wedding and there will not be a dry eye in the entire place. That footage lives on forever. And if you know that, and you know that it, it is simple, you can just put up your phone and talk, and whether you're posting it publicly or just keeping it somewhere privately, if you know that, you're making a choice, and choices are powerful. And you're making a choice to say, no, I'm, I'm gonna rob my family. And this is how strong I feel about it. I am going to rob my family and future family, future generations from content that they will absolutely cherish. When, when a grandparent dies and they find like a random diary in the attic, it's like the greatest thing of all time, right? Like, oh, I'm finding so much out about my grandmother. Well, imagine if you were able to like, when you got home tonight, turn on YouTube and watch the vlog that your grandma made when she was your age. You would watch every single episode a thousand times. So the ability that we now have to create that content at scale for very low cost, it is now a choice that you are making. I am either going to leave a legacy or I am choosing not to. And if you choose not to, that sucks. Like, I hate that for you. I hate that for your family. I hate that for your kids. I hate that for your grandkids because there's no excuse. It's either laziness or fear. One of the two. Both you can get past and just start. And you just gotta start small. What would be you guys kind of one piece of advice for someone that wants to kind of increase their personal brand and, and become, you know, a brand, but what they do is not very interesting in and of itself. So you kind of have to make it interesting. So that's kind of my struggle. Do you want to take that one? Sure. That's a good question, man. And you're right. I sell life insurance and there's 
nothing less interesting. <laughs> um, but I love, the, I love the quote that says, uh, great stories happen to those who tell them. And the reality is there's probably things, I hope, that you do that are interesting yeah. outside of the mortgage business. Yeah. And so it's, it's kind of weaving your life in with your business. You know, it, it kind of takes me to this place where, where, you know, so many people talk about, um, you know, I'm looking for like the perfect opportunity. When I can find out what I'm passionate about, then I'll go all in or, or then I'll start documenting. Then I'll start, you know, building my brand. And what I've found is that if you become passionate about what you are doing, you can find things about it that are interesting and it doesn't have to be so specific to your industry. Yeah. It's key pillars that are universal to any industry. Uh, key pillars like hard work and integrity and persistence and resilience, like things that whether someone's in business or just in life will be able to take away from that. And so like with me, like I don't come out of a meeting and I'm like, hey, I just sold these policies and here's how I did it. I'm just talking about the basic concepts of success and hard work and, and, and all these things. But I also do other things that, that I find interesting and, and I document that process. And so that when people see me, they're getting to know me. They're not getting to know me, the insurance guy. They're not getting to know you, the mortgage guy. But by getting to know you as the person and they get to know and like you and trust you, when they are buying a house, they'll probably remember that you're in the mortgage business. And because you've been putting out content and they've been seeing you constantly and they feel like they actually know you, especially as the market gets difficult, which it's going to get difficult in the mortgage industry in the next few years. But people will continue to do business with people that they like and people that they feel like they actually know. And so those people that you're not talking about on a regular basis, but they know that you are in that industry, they're gonna come to you when the opportunity arises and they need someone. So it's, it's more about building your brand about your life. It just so happens that mortgage is a third of your life. Uh, so what's the other two thirds and what are you doing that's interesting outside of it?